threats. In this situation, the uh, attack by a single Muslim terrorist against a, and interestingly enough, the first reports I saw downplayed this, but a well-known homosexual nightclub at two o'clock in the morning on Latin night. Um, this situation brings together two areas that frequently I'm dealing with, but completely separately. Uh, one's over here, one's over there. And very often those two do not get together. Um, I saw a note. I don't follow this individual on Facebook, but someone else does and they sent it to me. I was talking with a dear friend of mine last week um, about the fact that neither one of us for quite some time had heard anything about Dr. Robert Morey. Dr. Morey wrote some books on Islam years ago. And I have been a critic of what Dr. Morey has said about Islam. And most specifically, you know, I've been critical of his moon god theory. Uh, I think it's full of holes. And I especially was critical of his behavior in his debates with both Shabir Ali and Jamal Badawi. His behavior was inexcusable. It was just, there's no excuse for it. Um, and I've been critical of his insistence, for example, on reading one particular hadith inappropriately so as to make just completely inappropriate comments, not only about Muhammad, but about Shabir Ali. And you can go back and look at it. But the one thing that... And by the way, Maury's never responded to those specific things. Uh, it's always just sort of a general scattergun response. But the one thing that I was very strong in my condemnation of Bob Maury about, and I did use the term stupid, was his assertion uh, that one of the best ways to deal with Islam is to nuke the Kaaba. To drop a nuclear weapon on the Kaaba in Mecca. And the reasoning being that the fifth pillar of Islam, the pillar of, in regards to, well, it's not, well, by the way, just in passing, we are in the month of Ramadan, which is why we're seeing some of this stuff happening. Um, so much violence takes place during Ramadan. But the Hajj, um, you couldn't fulfill the Hajj with the Kaaba nuked. And uh, somehow this supposedly would destroy Islam. And when someone first suggested it to me, I didn't know who had suggested it. I said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. And it is. It remains this day the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. There's just there's no question about it. Um, the single thing that I could imagine that would galvanize and unite the world's Muslims who are primarily divided. You got, you got to understand there's, there's all sorts of friction stuff, even between these, you know, between Al Qaeda and Hamas and these groups, there's even friction between them, let alone the friction that exists between the Sunnis and the Shia. You want to get them all together into one big, really mean, nasty, united army. Do that. Do that. That'd be the one thing that would do it. Yep, 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 yep. You get everybody together on that. And so that was the primary thing that I focused upon was that that's just, that's just absurd. Well, Dr. Morey wrote, I was thinking of Brother James White and others who called my materials on Islam stupid. Now that the jihad attacks in New York City, Virginia, California, etc., and now Florida vindicate my teachings on Islamic terrorism, will any of these brothers be man enough or Christian enough to apologize and say, Brother Moore, you were right. I apologize for calling you names and attacking your character and motives. Let us work together to defeat the Islamic takeover of the West. 
But given human pride, I don't expect them to apologize. It is sad when apologists surrender to political correctness and attack those men of God who sound the trumpet of Zion to warn the church and nation. Well, Dr. Moore, you can think that that's what you've been doing. And you can think that I've said that all your materials are stupid. I didn't. I have focused upon very, very specific things and very, very specific behaviors as well. And I stand behind everything I have said without any apology because there's no need for any apology. I stand behind any, anyone who says nuking the Kaaba is an effective means of dealing with Islam has no credibility whatsoever, period, end of discussion. That's all there is to it. If you, sir, will repudiate that and apologize for ever having even suggested it, then we can talk. But as long as you're making statements like that, what can I say?